Hello and welcome to my trace route with a router tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to get a, an accurate trace route reading if you use a router in your home network. You, the problem with using trace route is, uh, in this instance is that it'll, you'll get skewed results if you use a, a router in your home network. So we'll be using a free software called 3D Trace Route to get an accurate reading. Go on over to your web browser and head on to Google and type in 3D Trace Route. And the first link is what you'll be needing. Go on ahead and click on it and click download right there. And go on ahead and click the current version. I don't think you'll really need the beta. And just save your file to your desktop. I'll go on ahead and make a folder for it. D 3D trace. I'm just going to save the exe in that folder and uh, go on ahead and execute that exe. It'll just take a little while to initialize when it first starts and it makes that funny noise. <laughs> okay. No. Now your program is open, so let's go on ahead and uh, find a trace route. Just go on and go to the target box right here and type in the address which you want to trace route to. I'm using g.mlservice.net. Just press trace. It's really easy, pretty intuitive, and it should start tracing right now. As you can see, it's calculating each hop and it will be providing the data in a 3D motion picture that noise is annoying <laughs> I think we can go on over to settings and turn that off and that's how you get a 3D trace now if you want to give this to your uh, to your web server provider and have them use the data. You will have to use trace as a list. And as you can see, if you click on that button, it'll come up with this data right here. So all you have to do is to save that to a notepad or to an email, just go ahead and right click, press save, and just press with tab delimiter, save as tab delimiter. It'll save it as a text file. I'll just go ahead and Put it on my desktop. Trace root data. And it's just saved right there. You can go in and close out. And you can open up that notepad you saved on the desktop. Double click on that and uh, go on ahead and open that with notepad. And Here's all the data you'll need. All you have to do is just copy and paste all of it and put it into an email and send it to your game server provider. And that's about it for the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Uh, look out for our next tutorial.